be difficult to find another school that has as much to offer as the ASU School of Music. You know, you're just constantly motivated to, to do new things and to push yourself harder because you see all of these people just testing themselves and recognizing that you don't have any limitations except the ones you put on yourself. You, know, you have theory and history and jazz and opera and vocal music. The topics that we can choose from are various and different professors with different experiences and backgrounds, and it's a very enriching experience. It's always nice to get a different perspective on music from different people than just your professors so that you have more of a broader range so then as an artist you can make your own decisions. I think School of Music is one of the most tight-knit communities. We all have that driven goal to help each other out to make really good careers for each other because we all need each other along the way. I mean no performance major is going to be like, oh I don't need a composer because what are they going to perform? Same goes for a composition major. We need performers, we need to know our faculty, know who we're writing for, what we can write for. The School of Music has a very big population, which means that it's very diverse. As far as musical tastes are concerned, you can go to a jazz concert, you can perform in the Lyric Opera Theater pit if you're a string musician. You can do all sorts of things that you wouldn't normally get to do at other universities. It's focused on the practical level of everything. Being able to play in as many ensembles as possible and the versatility of the different areas, like you have orchestra, jazz, uh, wind symphony, chamber music, you really get to learn how to blend with saxophones, trumpets, tubas. We had classes of five or six people in these workshops. A lot about what performing is, is learning to be self-aware of your habits and your tics and what makes you you, really. And we're able to do that because the class sizes are so small. We get that kind of feedback. The most important thing is the one-on-one -on -one collaboration that happens every week. We go into my private lessons and there's a lot of playing, there's like a lot of technical work done, but so much of the guidance comes from just like conversation, just personal conversation. Leading by example is pretty unbelievable for all the faculty. We're the ones who are responsible for what we do today so that our future, the paths that we decide to take, is secure being with the professor, having him talk to me when I need him to talk, play for me when I need him to play, encourage me, give me the ability to move beyond what the score just has to say. I've learned that you really need to take responsibility for everything you do mentally and physically on your instrument. To be able to 100% give yourself to a piece of music instead of just 80% and then 20% worry, just 100% live in that moment of performing. Once you have that, then everything just happens really naturally. You're given a tremendous amount of freedom to still have your own musical voice and still kind of stay in touch with whatever that is, even if you're not entirely sure yet. My teacher said to me, you know, you have a lot of work to do, but I'm not going to give up on you. And I'm here for the next four years with you. That support and that kind of encouragement meant so much to me. Ultimately, I think the connections, the networking that comes about while, you know, going through similar experiences with students in your field, um, you make connections and those stick with you long term. And just remember that the music really does matter and that people do care and that it's not for nothing that you're doing this.